So everyone tells us that the Indian Scout is one of the finest cruiser bikes you can bike on the market today. It's relatively affordably priced, it's liquid cooled, rev happy, looks great and makes an awesome sound. But is it really as good as everyone says it is? Well today we're going to find out in our comprehensive review of the Indian Scout. guys, as many of you know, the Indian Scout is one of our giveaway motorcycles, and in fact, time is running out to win it. Hit the link down below to yamanube.co or yamanubemerch.com. Get your entries to win this motorcycle for free. It's part of our modern classic giveaway series, and in fact, there's a special motorcycle coming in the next couple of weeks in the form of Honda's Rebel 1100 that's going to be replacing our Indian Scout as part of our modern classic giveaway sweepstakes. So if you want to be automatically entered to win for this bike, and the Honda 1100 Rebel, hit the link down below to yamini.co, sign up and join our awesome community and get entered to win any of the other bikes we got going on. We got an Aprilia RS660, a ZH2, and two more awesome beginner bikes coming as well. All right guys, if you want the long and the short of my opinion on this motorcycle, you can actually check out my first impression ride on it where I took it out in the hill country and took it out for a fun first ride. However, this motorcycle, despite me being a fast boy and I like racing and competition style motorcycles, it's really grown on me and it's for a lot of reasons. The engine's really rewarding to ring out. I actually really like the forward controls on this motorcycle. It feels like a proper cruiser bike. And the handling, even though it's kind of wonky and weird, it has a certain kind of charm to it as you feel the rear tire spin up in certain places. It reminds me a lot of an old school hot rodded motorcycle and that it's a little sketchy to ride but still a lot of fun to take around town. And it just looks really cool. Um, despite me not being a very big cruiser kind of guy, this is a great motorcycle to ride around town. It's super comfy and nice to just get on the throttle even though it is a little loud in the current trim that it is right now. So let's talk about some of the top line specs of the Indian Scout. This motorcycle is powered by an 1133cc liquid cooled four valve V twin engine. That's pretty different from other cruiser motorcycles because of how hopped up and how advanced it is. This motorcycle also features 100 horsepower and 72 foot pounds of torque, which is a pretty spicy power figure. It also weighs in at 555 pounds. So those are the top line specs for this bike, but what about some of the other things about it? So for $11,499, this motorcycle seems to pack a lot of good features. However, there are some shortcomings. The front suspension on this motorcycle is very tiny. It's got these tiny little forks, non-adjustable, and overall feels a little wallowy when you're under the brakes, and the brakes themselves aren't that powerful. You got a single disc up front, and you're not getting a whole lot of stopping power from this motorcycle. The other weird quirk about this bike, too, is it features 16-inch wheels. Now, you're probably going to see that on your white-walled, old-school cruiser motorcycles, but in today's marketplace, a 130 90 16 tire and a 150 80 16 tire at the rear is a strange combination for handling and for general performance. Now, I'm not saying this cruiser motorcycle is meant to carve up corners like a Ducati Panigale, however, I would expect to see something a little bit more pulled together from the Indian Scout. However, that doesn't mean that it's not a fun motorcycle. This motorcycle actually is a ton of fun to ride in spite of its flaws and probably because of its flaws. The rear tire gives it a very strange feeling under power kind of wiggles and squirms, feels like an old school hopped up cruiser in that way. Now you might think I was being a little bit mean to the Indian Scout, but this is a very cool motorcycle. It's got the right look and aesthetic to it. You look at this thing and it looks classic chrome, big cruiser motorcycle, especially in this black configuration here. It's as classic as it gets. And the sound it makes is just awesome. As you rev out this motorcycle, you get that classic sound, but also infused with modern performance. Now, a lot of you might know that we didn't actually modify the Indian Scout very much, and while we'd like to tell you that that's because it's a great motorcycle and it's ready to go as is, that's not exactly true. However, one very important mod we did do on this bike was put a rock form mount on it. They're the proud sponsor of today's video. You guys know we love talking about them because they support us and we support them. Rock form makes an awesome phone mount for your motorcycle. It hitches up right here to your handlebar. They also make stem mounts for your triple trees and all that sort of thing, but it doesn't really end there. Rock form's got golf cart mounts, all kinds of other mounts for your phones, devices, all sorts of things. So hit the link down below, use the code YN25 and get yourself 25% off your order for Rockform. Thanks to them for supporting today's video. Now, you guys have seen me and Spite ride this thing around, take it out to the hill country, take it out to the highways, but today we're going to get Whitney, our camera person on this motorcycle, to give a very raw first impression because I think this motorcycle makes a very big splash. All right, guys. 
its cameraman Whitney riding her very first cruiser. God dang, this sounds good. Looks like a hog. Sounds like a hog. God, it's torquey. That's the first thing I noticed besides feeling like a baby being cradled by a giant as I sit back and squat into this weird position with my heel boots. You can really feel its power. It does make you feel childlike. You know, the forward controls, as I was leaving the lot for the first time, you're like, all right, I don't, do I dangle my feet? Where do I put these things? But in actuality, after a few minutes, it all starts to make sense. Everything starts to feel a little bit more comfortable. Just, you know, the wide, wide bars don't feel as awkward as they first did. So today we've got 25 mile an hour winds. Um, which is why I'm so ill-prepared to ride today. I drove and I like how stable you feel as you're just getting pummeled. Um, I was riding my 701 yesterday and I felt like an air hockey puck on the highway. Um, but then you get on this and you're like, oh yeah, this can just cut through the wind a lot easier. It's, you know, got so much more weight. So I enjoyed that aspect riding today. All right, guys, I'm gonna head back to the shop before I pull over and buy a leather vest and leather chaps. Now, as we mentioned, the Indian Scout can really boogie with its engine. With 100 horsepower, this thing is actually pretty quick in a straight line. In fact, Spite and I drag tested this against an MT-09, and uh, in a normal street conditions, we were basically neck and neck, which is pretty impressive. Now, when you think about competitors to this motorcycle, you've got stuff like the Vulcan, the Bolt, your Sportsters, and even maybe your Dynas as well on this price point. However, we think that the Indian Scout is one of the best motorcycles in the segment, and there's lots of reasons for it. In terms of a modern, aesthetically pleasing, pleasing and authentic riding cruiser, the Scout basically cannot be beat. When you ride something like the Vulcan, you're going to sense a very muted parallel twin feeling from the motorcycle. The Bolt is probably the closest competitor, but this thing will still walk all over it. And I'm not even going to mention the Harley Sportster because I genuinely think the Scout is a much better motorcycle than the Sportster in bone stock trim. And for the Scout as well, if you want something faster than it, you're going to have to look at something like a Diablo, a VMAX, or even a Rocket 3 in terms of fast cruisers than this motorcycle, which kind of gives it a cool sleeper performance aesthetic to it in my opinion. Alrighty everyone, we are wrapping up our Indian Scout comprehensive review for today and I thought it'd be great to bring Whitney back in so that we talked about who should own this motorcycle. Whitney, who do you think should straddle aboard the Indian Scout? I think uh, 10 minutes after you get your motorcycle license, you should just go straight to the Indian it's dealer and perfect. just yeah. buy this hog. Thank immediately. You. <laughs> this big old hog of a machine. Yeah. yeah. No, but it makes sense why people, older people kind of gravitate towards cruisers. They're more comfortable. They, you know, you just want to ride it for hours in mm -hmm. a straight line. I mm -hmm. could kind of see why they like riding it. The prototypical American riding experience, exactly. right? Big, long highways, straight open roads. You did mention it was comfortable. However, when you came back, you did say that the riding stance was a little uncomfortable and weird, right? With that big kind of, you know, situation like that. Yeah, it doesn't, to me, it doesn't add stability being able to flat foot it. I don't, mm -hmm. I don't, I feel uncomfortable that way. Um, it does feel childlike, just kind of like having your legs up and as Josh said, yeah, man spreading. You know, you got your arms out. Um, after 10 minutes though, it, it's not as uncomfortable, but I definitely prefer a more ergonomic, like upright riding position. Yeah, and you did mention that the rear tire gave you some grip issues as well, 100%. Right? Like as yeah. I left, you're like, hey, just be careful. You know, it doesn't have the great, doesn't have the greatest tires. And I was like, okay, yeah, sure. And then you're just <laughs> slipping on nothing. And I was like, <laughs> oh, I see now. Yeah, this is the OE rubber that it came equipped with, if I remember correctly. And it does have, I think, like four or 5,000 miles on it. So it's probably time for a change. However, if you do own an Indian Scout, definitely get yourself a better pair of rubber on this machine because I do think it definitely deserves it. Did you notice mid-corner how it felt or anything like that? Yeah, it's it had a lot of rider feedback mm. which kind of was made it feel a little bit more unstable because mm. I thought, all right, it's beefy, it's heavy, let's do this. But then, yeah, it's just... Also, I think the suspension too, you go over a little bump yeah. and you're like, Jesus, okay. Yeah, yeah, um, it's got these really tiny forks up at the front and it's pretty heavy, so any bump, you really kind of feel it, you know? Um, so you would say someone who is maybe older, wants a relaxed riding thing, you know, For all sure. that? For sure, yeah, okay. long distance riders, mm -hmm. you know, 
hitting up a diner, you know, just mm. like a big day ride. I think. So that's... basically, this is a bar hopper. As everyone's known to think about it, that's the type of motorcycle this is. So if you want a big bad cruiser, makes the right sound, and diner hop, as Whitney said, yeah. I think is the new thing that they're going to be doing with it, uh, go and get yourself an Indian Scout because it's a pretty sweet ride. Anyways, we're giving this one away on yamanoob.co and yamanoobmerch.com. We'll catch you in the next one. See you later. Now, how you doing, partner? This video's over, but you click on this one right over here, you keep watching yourself some Yammy New. Maybe I bend my boots on this one, maybe I give you some other funny memes or something like that. You might not know if you watch the video, so watch the video now, all right?